Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello wonderful viewers, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV. I greet you all according to your time. To my new subscribers and my returning subscribers, God bless you for always supporting this channel. My dear viewers, this video we are about to watch because I will be watching this video with you. Please, the volume is low. The fourth is from the studio where he was being interviewed. So concentrate so you can hear him while speaking. Let me drop the video quickly. Drop your opinion at the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Yeah, good afternoon, Barrister. If I need your phone, welcome to Be Upon Television. You're welcome, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Yeah. Tony. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. All right, sir. Um, it is no more speculation about the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Nandikano regarding to the kidnapping or whatever names and terms they use to bring him back to Nigeria. We would like you to look at the picture that has been painted so far so that Biafrans will come to understand the stand of things the way they are at this very moment. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, we, the collection needs to be made as to the manner in which uh, he was kidnapped in Kenya uh, because initially we, when we don't have the full facts we thought he was um, arrested until we had a word with him we saw him and they had discussions with him so he now narrated to me to us what actually transpired so he was kidnapped at the airport Kenya airport so Nairobi um, and then um, you made an effort to alert people who were around at the point he was um, being kidnapped by the security agent, Kenya security force, the police force. So, but they kept on shouting, the security agent kept on shouting, terrorists, terrorists. So, people that scared people away, people who were wondering come for his intervention, right, for rescue, for his rescue. So, and they took him up, they took him away from the airport immediately to an unknown destination where he was kept for. Eight days, uh, not that he kept, was kept for eight days, or um, he was subjected to all forms of uh, inhuman treatment and intimidation. He was beaten up, he was um, mahandled, rough handled, and inflicted with severe injuries. So, during this course of um, their purported investigation, because according to what I said, they were investigating a case of terrorism against him. So, then after spending this number of days, because in their in incarceration, they now come to realize, according to them, that he's, he's actually not the person, uh, not the person they thought he were investigating. So when they come to um, uh, understand his full in, full identity, so, but for me, I have no, I understand it's a it's a collaboration, it's a game plan, uh, so because ordinarily. At the point you said you discovered that this person wasn't the person you were, you thought uh, you were actually investigated, I said, no, and the, a different person. Being a British citizen, you should have been allowed to go. Uh, but why calling on Nigerian government to send their security? Uh, okay. It's on now. So. So, um, as I was saying before the line went off, so there was no justification whatever for them to hand him over to Nigerian security agents that came to pick him. So, um, having that, having now having that rest, um, he's now here here in Nigeria to, to face his trial according to his trial. So. Um, we we expected to we expected that in the meantime, meantime we we are going to we, we, we are going to panel a sophisticated legal thing that will be part of this um, process. So 
and I have no doubt about it, I will, they will do the collectively do justice to the whatever charge I filed against him or the what is existing charge. So coming to his uh, present set of out, we have made public that when he was in Kenya, when he was kidnapped in Kenya, he was subjected to inhuman treatment. He was beaten, subjected to to torture. He was tortured. And on account of those uh, uh, horrible experiences, he took care of was sick. So before he was uh, brought to this country, before brought to Nigeria. So, but um, we are doing everything humanly possible to ensure he gets the best of uh, uh, medical attention. We are waiting to the authority, returning him, and uh, he's improving. His health is improving as I speak to you. He's improving. So, and there's no comfort, there's no cause for alarm. I can assure you there's no cause for alarm. Um, only that by virtue of being in a, in, a, in a confinement where he has no access to his brothers, his sisters, the relatives, the cousins, and even the wife, more important, the wife, he will effectively classify him as being subjected to mental torture. That was where some people got that explanation wrong. I, was, I never mentioned the cause of my address that he was being tortured by SSS here. I never said that. I was never mentioned in my address that I was being beaten by SSS here. I gave graphic explanation of what happened, what took place in Kenya. I was beaten there based on account he gave me, direct account he gave me. So, but I emphasize on the fact that by virtue of the fact that he is here alone, he don't have, doesn't have free access to the wife, to the children, to the brothers and sisters, to cousins. So, and except us. That can visit him is still a special level of uh, mental torture. That's what, I, what, I, what, I, what I, was, I tried to explain so that people cannot get it wrong from every any quarter. So, and um, we are doing all we can to ensure that uh, he transferred to, to to appropriate custodian where he's supposed to be pending when application for his bail is revisited and the trial commences. So, and uh, we're in high spirit that. Nani Kano will leave, we come out freely. I can assure you of that. He will be out. There's no cause for alarm. He will be out. And uh, I'm not talking about bad. Even if it's granted by the charge, will be discharged. Whatever charge, fire against him this time around, he dealt with the merits. And it's uh, it not in court. So there's no cause to panic. I can assure you that by legal team, the team we are going to empower them, we're going to work with us are very very formidable in their own uh, in their own we are going to do justice to this case thank you sir um you've talked about his health that is in good uh good shape uh biafra shouldn't panic about his health uh what do you think will be the minds of biafrans regards to 26th the day that he's going to appear in court mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't say the health is in uh, a perfect state or whatever. I said the health is improving health wise. Okay, okay, and uh, it's okay. improving health wise. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's not that um, it's, it's wonderful, but it's improving health wise. Uh, but um, we are making effort to see we we'll get as far that we examine him. We've already uh, informed the authority detaining him and we're taking steps to that effect. So we have formally informed the authority detaining him. So but it's improving health wise and um, there's no cause for alarm. Okay. Uh, we're doing all we can within the confines of law. To ensure that um, the needful are done in court, and uh, so and we are prepared to go all hearts with the government in this case in court. And uh, so, the, um, um, my advice to to be friends, the dear friends, is to remain calm, pray for him, pray for us too. Particularly me, who is in under, he is under serious threat. Uh, the first of what happened to me, in situations how I narrowly, by act of providence, to escape being assassinated. Uh, is there in the public domain. Uh, but I had earlier mentioned and said there's no amount of intimidation or threat of any kind that will stop him from defending now the Kanai PUB. That is settled. Uh, so, and I can assure you that once that divine grip is upon me, nobody can kill me. No matter how fortified you are, it can't kill me because I am a child of destiny and I, I am on a divine mission 
in this project, in this case. So I am not the one appointed myself. God appointed me to be his lawyer and also to be lawyer for IPOB. I am not doing it out of my own trend. God has been there for me. So, and I advise those who are doing all they can to get me out of the way to stop thinking evil against me. Because whatever evil they think can never see the light of the day. And nothing will stop me from defending him. I will be there with him till the end. I will be there with him till the victory is achieved. I can t I can bet my life for that. Thank you. So, um, 26 is um, very, very, very on the road. It's approaching and um, their friends will know what will be their step and reaction towards 26. What do you think that will be the way forward uh, to for their friends, those at home and those abroad, regarding to his uh, appearance in court on 26th? Nothing extraordinary will happen on 26th. I can assure you that. Uh, only that we're going to be in court as usual and entertain some applications with 10 to 5 before then. I may not be able to mention it at this stage. So, and um, if there is any form of amendment to the charge they have before him, then we take it off from there. Uh, but as I speak to you, nothing has been done. So we still believe that what we have before him is the charge, three count charge pending against him in court. So nothing much will happen. Also, we have an application too before the court, which has been overdue for 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 hearing. This application needs to be explained to be to be, to be here to be heard on that day because that application substance is giving an account of what happened in his house on 14th of September. So we we have demonstrated through compelling evidence in that application on how his house was invaded by the secret soldiers who came for his life. And the process, over 28 persons were killed. We have the picture, you have the pictorial evidence to that effect. We have the we have the we have the, the, the video evidence of what transpired in his house. All these are before the court. And it's important that the court is that is hard because that will that will also enable the court to understand that none they can never jump down. Uh, because the court needs to look at because that is very fundamental. So because once that is resolved, then we can go into other issues that will also grant him freedom. So other other applications that will that will most likely grant him freedom. So, uh, court need to also, through that application, look at intervening circumstances that lead to his uh, disappearance from, from court. Uh, it is a person that had now and before announced to the world that is coming to court on October 14th to, with about 1 million Biafrans to face his trial. And he was ready. He was ready, made it known to me, he was ready to be in court on October. So it was, and they were taking, we taking him on pre-trial conference, pre-trial briefing, as to prepare him for the trial. So. He was not under any form of uh, uh, any form of uh, uh, belief that will not be caught on that day. Uh, but before what happened on the 14th, okay, uh, as, uh, assuming that these people that invaded his premises on 14th of September 2017 succeeded in killing him, will we be talking about the trial today? The answer is no. Will we be talking about dumping bell, uh, his uh, disappearance? The answer is no. Uh, so, but. By act, by sheer act of providence, he escaped being assassinated. So the court needs to understand what happened. It's important for the court to hear it. What happened to my to person I granted bail? Even though you said he, he, he violated or, or flouted the bail conditions, it's not for me to determine. And it's not for the for the for the for the, for the, for the uh, lawyer for the uh, lawyer for the prosecution to determine. It is for the court to determine within the contents of the the the, the environment he found himself. And he positioned the strike whether he has found it for any, any of the bail condition. And the answer is no. So we have addressed that point when the application was filed before he was his house was invaded. But those applications were not had before the before the house was invaded. So we need to the court need to take in on the rudiment, on the fundamentals to understand what happened. Because that will enable the court to form an opinion as to to further to, as to whether to grant further application or to file before then. Uh -huh. So, and once God is convinced that the the our submissions are meritorious, the court will go. We will, will do the next So I, that I can assure you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Barista. Um, uh, the more last word. Um, I know that a lot of people have been calling you regards to this event. Um, is people panicking? Probably that he's not going to come out. Like you said, definitely he's not come out of this. Mm -hmm. Um, what will be your final word? 
to the downtrodden, those that he's fighting for. He is the voice of the voiceless. You see, let me say, let me say this to people, uh, to to their fans. You see, it's one thing for somebody for allegation to be leveled against another person, and it's another thing for that allegations to be established before the court. And in establishing allegations of serious pressure, there are items you must establish, you must prove. It's not. It's a, it's a different thing for somebody to say it by word of mouth, but you have to go through the hurdle of approval, establishing each of the items. In, we call it in law ingredients of those offenses. So, and from what is available to us today, I don't think there's anything that will convict him. There's not anything that will fight today or convict him in court. I can assure you of that. So, you what I am craving for from their friends today is their prayers, their their, their patience, prayers and patience. So, and I can assure them that none will come will come out, and they will come out sooner than they expect they expected. I can assure them that it's a function of their prayers. I need prayers from them. They should come through to prayer to go to God in prayers. Communicate, uh, compare their difficult the, the, the present situation to God in prayers. There's nothing difficult for God to do in the circumstance. Let let me speak in. I can assure you, be out. Take it from me. That's my word. I can assure you, be out. And it may most likely be out. It's not unexpected. So we are going to go in for it in court. It will, it will be done in court. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being with us on this.